Okay, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a shoe mock-up. The shoe mock-up's gonna have a reflection and a really cool little shadow underneath the shoe. So let's go. And before I continue, hello there. Okay, so I'm going to just credit this website, freepngimage.com. I'm going to take a copy of this image and I'm gonna go back into Figma. Okay, back into Figma, I'm gonna paste that in and let's zoom in a little bit and let's center that shoe. Okay, that's great, looks good. And let's press Command D on the keyboard to duplicate this image. And let's right click and flip vertically. Okay, that's great. Let's move that a little bit closer to the other shoe. Okay, that looks great. Uh, I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle over this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this bottom shoe off. So let me just cover entire thing let's just make sure it's just covering just this shoe okay that looks good so we're going to place the mask beneath the image I'm going to select both the image and the mask and I'm going to mask it I'm going to go into the mask I'm going to go into the fill and I'm just going to change that to gradient and now as you can see it's added this cool kind of effect so if I just drag the gradient up a little bit so drag it to about there Yep, that looks good. So let's click out of here. And now let's start just dropping that pass through opacity until we get this nice kind of glass hazy effect on the shoe. So yeah, we'll go to 20% for now. Yeah, I think that looks good. Hi, it's Mitch. Thanks for getting this far in the video. It'd be awesome if you could like or subscribe or add some comments as this really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, thanks again and back to the video. Okay, now let's press O on the keyboard for an ellipse and let's just draw something underneath the shoe. Let's just bring that in so probably at the front of the shoe just there and just so it meets the back of the shoe just there. Let's change the color to black because that's going to be our shadow and let's add an effect of layer blur. Let's add the layer blur, let's make that 10. Okay, and now let's drop the opacity. Let's say we'll do that to 50%. We just zoom out a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Obviously shadows are quite complex, so let's just bring this in a tiny bit. So the shadow will probably be a bit darker on the inside. Let's press Command D to duplicate that again. Let's drag out this second shadow a bit further. Let's make that 20% and now let's just zoom out a tiny bit. And the great thing is because these are separate layers, you can customize these, you can go back in and edit them, you can increase the blur. So maybe you want to increase that blur on that first shadow. Let's go into the second one, let's make that 20. And you can keep customizing these shadows to how you want. So there's a really quick way of making a really cool shoe mock-up. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. Hopefully that comes in useful. Okay, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, add some comments, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.